Alright, who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, welcome to Mesa RC Foam Flies Elite. It's Mr. Marshall, I got Danny here. And Danny's gonna help me review uh, one of the latest products from Quad Lux. Um, Danny and uh, the Mesa RC Foam Fighters uh, have been, uh, they, they do work for each other type of thing. So we, we do lids for him and he pays us in quads. <laughs> That's a pretty, pretty good deal. Um, at a good price point, and at, with the same materials that you already have, you can create this mini quad. If, if you already have um, bought one of his quads before, you can take pretty much the same stuff that you have and create a mini. Um, as you can see here, we already have some of the Mesa kids designing the, the, diff, the three different layers. You know, obviously the base, you know, then the next layer that goes on top of it, and then the you know the top piece. You know, which is I thought it was pretty cool. Take two booms. Takes you to, uh, two of these five uh, L pieces, you know your four motor mounts, um, and then you get yourself something looking like this. He also has build videos on how all this works, and um, you know well, obviously we got it set up um, for FPV and to to do racer. And Danny's going to to uh, demonstrate that today. Um, but other than that, super easy. These um, the motors are Sunny Skies. Uh, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Mario. Maybe not. What we'll do is. Should we do a flight test and just say, here's the specs? Yeah. Here's right. the specs. There you go, Danny. Here's the specs. Okay, now we're back. All right, uh, what else are we using on this thing, Danny? Uh, we got our Immersion RC, what is it? 600 megawatt, 5.8 gigahertz FPV system going here with the uh, Fat Shark gargles. Uh, what else we got? We got the Mobius on the front, too. I'm gonna be recording with that. And then, uh, what battery? What better are we using than one? Okay, it's so like Turn G 1300, or, yeah, 1300, 3 cell. Which is crazy, that's all it needs. And we actually threw 2200 during some of our testing, and it, it picked it up just fine. It's crazy how much power this thing has. Um, and it's so simple, too. I mean, the, a kid in eighth grade designed these like in two seconds and then cut them out. So, um, should be pretty interesting to see uh, what some of these mini quads uh, come up with uh, in the future. But, um, Danny, you got yourself a cool little product here. Nice and light. Um, you can load a bunch of stuff on there. You got a lot of room. Um, oh, we forgot to mention, dude. Check this thing out. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It's got the little mini KK board in there. It's so small. I didn't even know those things existed until I got it, or we got this in the middle. I'm like, oh my God, those things are so small. And then of course, you gotta rock the flight test, right? Ching. So are you ready to fly this thing? Let's go fly it. All right, let's go fly it. Okay, so we're out here in front of the uh, Irwin. And um, Dan is going to be demonstrating the quad. And as you can see, just by doing some initial flights with it, we're flying this in about what? Five mile an hour wind? What do you think so far? Pretty good. Pretty good, huh? Awesome. Okay. All right, Danny. So let's we're gonna create a course for Danny. Danny, you're gonna swing through here, and then see that the two trees on the left. Yeah. The two trees on the left. You're gonna go in between. So around the first one. In between. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice and low. Oh, he's got that perfect. Oh, look at that. No way. That was perfect. Time trial, okay. Ready, set, go. You're up, you're up, you're up. Get that thing back up. <laughs> And I'll start you right where you turn this turn. Ready, set, go. Good speed, good speed, good speed. The turn, the turn, get it up, get it up. There you go. <laughs> I 
Come on, right back around. Right back around. Look at that turn. Get out of here. Dang, 20 seconds. No, that was good, man. That was good. So what'd you think? That was crazy. <laughs> you were going so fast. <laughs> now you get like a kick that those guys get as they go through the forest, you know? Oh, I know. And they're, uh, you know, trying to go through those obstacle courses and yeah. you can see how someone can get really good. Right. Danny, whatever motors, you know, the motors you guys picked for this in the ESC is, is, is pretty spot on. Okay. All right, so time me when I go around that, that curve. All right, I'm crashing this thing. <laughs> Jeez. I crashed it, of course. Like everything I do for Elite, I always crash. Um, but no, what'd you think? Uh, no, it, it felt really good. It's super fast, super, super fast. Um, it, it gets a little squirrely on the higher speeds, but I don't even have that good. Perfect. Um, we'll take this back in the shop, and we'll fix it back up again, but uh, you know, special thanks goes out to Danny Cho from uh, Quad Mugs. Uh, really fun project to build, and uh, you know, we'll have to keep traction with our quad racing skills. All right, so I crashed it, right? But every time you crash something, typically it leads to something better. So, uh, A32 Jake decided to um, take the quad and uh, redesign it to uh, look a little bit different. So, Jake, want to talk about the, the new design? So, our new design, uh, instead of making it just one flat piece of wood, we kind of put in like air vents so the ECs can breathe a little bit easier. And then we have or flat test sticker on there. So when he did his, he actually had like you know preset holes that were just lasered in, so you know he knew exactly where to you know to hook them into. Um, but no, this thing, I mean, looks awesome. So now we got our own you know little chassis that we can then, if we just, you know crash this one, <laughs> just take it all off and stick it all on there. We have a, a chassis that we can um, use over and over and over again. Um, let's say someone wants to go and buy a quad lugs and they want some extra chassis stuff. Do you think you want to make these plans available for them to download? Or? Yeah. Okay. Because they would save them time and not have to worry about having to their own dimensions. Right. And all. Perfect. All right. Well, look at mesrcfoamfighters.com. Go to our PDF plans and scroll it down to where we see multi rotors and then Jake's uh, design for the mini quad 250 for quad bucks. We'll be there. Let's go to Jim and fly the same.